Uh, Alright, so this is a very short tutorial uh, on how to compute electron density of a molecule and how to visualize it in Avogadro. Uh, we will look at two um, very similar molecules at a first sight, but we will see how their electron density differs. It is benzene and phenol. The first thing that we have to do is, of course, to draw them out, and I already did this. This is my phenol, and this is my benzene. Uh, you can optimize them using Gaussian beforehand, or you can, you know, simplify your life, make a little shortcut, and just use this um, auto optimization tool in uh, Avogadro if you trust it enough. Uh, so let's see what we have to do for the input in order to calculate the uh, density. You go into extensions, Gaussian, you save your coordinates as we do usually, and this is what you will get. Uh, you probably have like an SP or just an optimization, but you have to add those two keywords. Uh, I will just do a um, single point calculation because my geometries have already been optimized. Uh, the first keyword that you have to add is um, pop equals reg, which means that you will calculate the population of the molecular orbitals at a regular interval. And the second keyword is form check, which tells Gaussian to um, make an, a new file with the extension fchk that will store all the points of the different surfaces that you are calculating. If you're calculating the molecular orbitals, then this is what you're going to get. If you're calculating the density, then it's going to also be stored in this file. It's really important to have that there, otherwise you're not going to be able to visualize uh, your electron density. You do that for both files and then you run them normally in Gaussian. Then before going on I just want to point out that your .out file is saved in the directory of your choice but the uh, fchk file, so the form check file, is by default stored in this directory so it's um, game Gaussian scratch and by default it is saved as a test .fchk file and you like normally you don't rename it beforehand so if you run two calculations run after the other the second calculation will overwrite your test file so in between of those two you have to go into this scratch directory and rename this file to whatever you want copy it elsewhere or doesn't matter so I did that and I have my benzene density and my phenol density uh, form check files and you can open them using um, Avogadro now so let's see what happens when you open uh, this file at the beginning it looks exactly as a dot out file uh, but if you go into extension and create surfaces and then you select surface type electron density that's what we're calculating and color by electrostatic potential and then you click on calculate you should obtain a picture that looks like this okay um, you if you want to you could play around with this ISO value uh, this just defines how big the surface is if you put a small value then your surface is going to be very fit to your molecule like it is right now. If you put a bigger value, then um, your surface might look more like a bubble all around. Uh, as a sanity check, we can um, look at you know the colors and try to figure out what it means. Uh, the more you go towards the red, the higher is your electron density, and the more you go towards the blue, uh, the lowest is the electron density and we can check that but it makes, makes a lot of sense because oxygen is um, quite electro, um, electron negative so it will pull all the electrons toward itself and the same goes for these carbons on the ring they are more electronegative than the hydrogens over here 
so they will um, pull the electrons toward themselves but these carbons on the other side that are closer to oxygen should be less electron rich so they are not wet anymore they're blue green ish all right so we can check what happens for bending and see how what is different same thing and go into extension create surfaces electron density colored by electrostatic potential calculate and here we can see that it's a fully uh, symmetric um, molecule and all the carbons are exactly equivalent and all the hydrogens are exactly equivalent so it all makes sense and this is it you can uh, save this picture into, by going into file export graphics uh, or you can just close your file and save if you want to or discard. And that's the end of this tutorial. Um, if you have any comments or you want a tutorial on a particular topic, could you please um, send me a message into my inbox? That would be a pleasure for me to help you out. Good luck!